Welcome back. Well, fall school conferences are here, and if you're a parent or a grandparent, maybe you're a little anxious about what the teacher will say. That's very true, especially given how strange the last few school years have felt. But what if you could go into that conference with confidence because your child was no longer struggling in school? Well, that's how an Egan family feels now that both of their kids have completed the Learning RX program. Take a look. This is a long book. How many pages do we have here? We have um, 400. And 32 pages. Did you read this pretty quickly? You did. Do you love to read? Mm -hmm. Did you love to read before you went through the Learning RX program? So so? I just didn't read. Brianna is a fifth grader and loves to read, but a year ago she didn't even want to touch this stack of books. Brianna, you have read all of these books? Yeah. <laughs> Most of them twice. The Harry Potter series you've read twice? Well, I've, I'm up to the fifth one that I did twice. For my oldest, I went into the classroom and I volunteered at the reading table. And when I saw Brianna be more hesitant to read out loud, it cued me in to um, practice more with her. A friend told them about the Learning RX program, and her parents, Josh and Sherry, were willing to try anything to build their daughter's confidence. When a child starts to have a hard time um, with reading or, or math or whatever it is, they avoid it, and they don't want to be a part of it anymore. But within several months of starting the program, Brianna began to pick up books. That's like her favorite hobby, is to grab a book and to read. Which one is your favorite? Could you pick one out of all of these books? Mm, a Tale of Witchcraft. Ooh, this looks good. And she began to excel in math too. At Learning RX, they're training the brain, working on auditory and visual processing and brain training to improve things like memory. Especially with Brianna going through the program and her just feeling the joy of her her report card and how she's doing in school. I could tell Charlie wanted that experience too. Brianna's brother Charlie is a third grader and his new hobby? Reading. In particular, the Dogman series. He was a dog and then um, was a cop and then they got blown up and then um, the dog's head was alive and the cop's body was alive. So then they put those together to make Dogman and then um, is this a children's book? Yes. Okay, just making sure. They both had a lot of growth in math for the first program, and then reading was phenomenal. I, I know that as Brianna and Charlie were going through school, I wanted them to have an upper hand on that, of like to feel overly confident, because I felt like that's gonna affect their confidence while they're in school and also for the rest of their lives. Do you remember school, how maybe difficult it might have been before you went through the Learning RX program? Yes. What was it like? Was yeah. it hard? Not for math, but for reading, yes. So many of us have similar stories with our children. Mm -hmm. Like, what is this is what my children are going through. Mine is too. What have you done? So it's just, I feel so grateful that this resource is in our community. Well, Learning RX Executive Director Rich Frieder joins us now in studio. Okay, Rich, <laughs> we have parent-teacher conferences tomorrow night. Yes. yes. And, you know, we kind of anticipate, we think our kids are doing well. We don't really know exactly how well they're doing because we're not with them in the classroom. But there's got to be some, some of those phrases that we should be listening for from our teachers yeah. to kind of give us those red flags. Maybe brain training is something we need to look into. Yeah, so good question. So yeah, a lot of um, a lot of what parents hear are things like, what's really common, your child is really smart. Mm -hmm. However, but, yeah. they really need yeah. to apply themselves or they don't really seem very motivated. That's common. Or your child is not up to, you know, where they need to be with reading or at their grade level for reading or math or things like that. Really common is to hear, you know what, your child is not staying on task or doesn't really seem to be following directions or they're, they seem to take forever or a long time to get their work done. Those types of phrases are areas we can absolutely help with and turn kids around. Okay, because a lot of times, I know my oldest did the program, mm -hmm. and it was more so like, uh, are you applying yourself? Are you, you're, mm -hmm. are you even trying? Yeah. And she she was trying, but it just, the, the fire wasn't the switching. Like there wasn't, a, right. yeah, there yeah. wasn't something clicking. Mm -hmm. And so brain training, it helped, it was immense help. I mean, it was incredible. Sure. Yeah. 
Yeah. Help explain the difference between, say, a typical tutor mm -hmm. and then mm -hmm. learning RX. Yeah, so that, well, tutoring, Kristen, is the most common approach. So mm -hmm. when you hear these things, you're like, oh, I need to go hire a tutor, right? Mm -hmm. Well, how a learning RX is different is we're a cognitive skills training center. What that really means is we're getting to the identifying and addressing the root cause uh -huh. as to why a child struggles. So take reading, for example. If someone struggles with reading, the typical approach is let's do more reading, either mm -hmm. at home and tutoring, school right. interventions. That doesn't hurt, but it doesn't identify, well, why does a child even need help in the first place? Sure. We identify why they struggle, and for the average 10 and a half year old, we average a three year gain in reading achievement. Wow. So if with tutoring you're more, you're treating the symptom, mm -hmm. and as school gets harder year to year, every year you need to do more tutoring just to try to tread water and keep up, sure. where our goal is to get kids out of that cycle, yeah. right? and get into the source of the problem. Get to the source of the issue so they don't struggle anymore, be it an attention issue, reading issue, math. A lot of um, older students too, struggle with organizational issues mm -hmm. and those types of sure. things we really can help with. I mean, for my daughter, it was like the visual processing, mm -hmm. really visually processing what she was reading mm -hmm. to get her to the next page. So that was uh, the root cause of the issue. Mm -hmm. It wasn't that she didn't like to read. It's just that she wasn't it wasn't working for yeah, her. Right. So you guys can get to that. Yeah. And then a lot of times that turns into a motivation issue. Yeah. Right, because human nature is to avoid something that's hard, right? Right, and if it's hard, then you then mm -hmm. parents are like, oh, we just need to try harder. Okay, and quickly, you know, we think about how learning RX. We talked about how it can help a lot of different mm -hmm. age groups. Yeah, but starting young. That oh, can make a world of a difference. It's so helpful because if you can get at it at an early age, like grade school, yeah. there's so many benefits to that investment because you're, you can avoid a lot of issues, right? Mm -hmm. Academic struggles, mm -hmm. but also it often turns into self-esteem issues. Um, and as you get into third, fourth, fifth, sixth grade, academics ramps up quite a bit. Yep. The other big difference between us and tutoring is, is the gains our clients achieve are long lasting. Yeah. So if you're doing tutoring, you're just every year just trying to tread water and every year you do more tutoring. Our goal is to get kids out of that mm -hmm. so they can excel in those harder yeah, grade Yeah, and the more you that. apply those practices, the better it's going to get Definitely. over the years. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, Rich, thank, thank you, you so thank you. much. Well, Learning RX is offering TCL viewers a deal. To learn more about the program or to schedule an assessment, call 952-949-6900 and mention Twin Cities Live to get an initial assessment for $75. All, All right. right. Next